Emily from Emily Loves London and today I'm doing my letter to Father Christmas. So I'm um, basically, obviously, um, I half still believe in Father Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm one of those people. Um, <laughs> but I thought it was a nice way to kind of like tell you what I'm looking forward to, hoping to have under my Christmas tree this year. So yes, let's get down to it. Um, so. It's a very simple list this year, and very small, which is really good. I've decided to cut down on my Christmas list. Um, there's only like ten things. Um, but first on the list I have Harry Potter History of Magic by J.K. Rowling and the British Library. So this is their companion piece to their exhibition, which I would love to go and see. But I have just had not had any time to just sit on my computer and look at when the dates are for these tickets. I don't think they're... I think they're expensive, but not like ridiculously expensive. So I will have to get on my computer and book my tickets because I really want to go. It looks absolutely beautiful. At number two, I have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition done by J.K. Rowling and Jim Kay. And this is my... Oh, sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> this is my favourite book out of all the Harry Potter books. It's the darkest. It's the most mysterious. It's the most... Um, sort of magical so I was so excited to see <laughs> that the illustrated edition cover has the night bus on it because it's absolutely awesome I love the night bus it's one of my favorite scenes in the film and in the book so yeah I can't wait to get my hands on that and number three I have a lush box because I love lush lush is one of my favorite things in the world it's a fantastic shop filled with beautiful beauty products and bath products so they have bath bombs they have shower jellies they have the most amazing creams if you have eczema or dry skin um such beautiful smelling soaps um they also have um nice perfumes and lip balms and yes it's just a fabulous fabulous place you definitely have to go in there and yeah, I just wanted like a little lush box with some bath bombs in it because I love my bath bombs. And yeah. At number four, I have a book I want to get, which is called Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I have heard so much hype about this book from booktubers around the world. And so I really want to get my hands on it. It sounds absolutely amazing about this sort of, um, in, set in this sci-fi world where, um, these two kids um, have certain powers and stuff like that. It just sounds really good. <laughs> and I love Marissa Meyer's work, so. <laughs> um, at number five, I have uh, another book I wanted to get, which is The Zoo Expeditions um, by David Attenborough. And this is basically his um, tales of when he used to work for the London Zoo, going around collecting information and animals uh, on rare animals from... Mm, amazing different countries and I love everything to do with David Attenborough he's so interesting um, <laughs> and so entertaining so yes I can't wait to read this and number six is another book that I really want to get and it's called The Cruel Prince by Holly Black this is her new series and Holly Black is one of my she's my top two favorite authors um, it's her and Jill Murphy. They literally got me into reading the amount of reading I do now with her series uh, called The Spiderwick Chronicles, which is a beautiful series. It's so magical and so inventive and the illustrations in it are stunning. So if you haven't checked out that series, I would definitely recommend it for anyone who loves beautiful, magical stories. So this is her new... <clears throat> pardon me I'm really losing my voice <laughs> um, this is her new series and I can't wait to start reading it and to get it in my hands um, so yes it should be a fantastic read and number seven oh that's number eight <laughs> and number seven I have another book and it's called um, Demon, Demon Voices and this is by Philip Pullman so this is kind of like like um, Stephen King wrote um, a book on writing a uh, a while ago actually I think he's written two um but yes yeah, so this is um Philip Pullman's take and looking at different stories and how they're written and like the um not the logic but like the 
thinking behind it. So it sounds really, really interesting and I would love to read it. At number eight, <laughs> I have um, a BB-8 plush. I have seen them around for ages and I really wanted one because they look so cute and adorable and I love everything to do with BB-8. As you can see by my Christmas jumper, um, <laughs> which I found at Asda. Um, but yes, so I love all things Star Wars and BB-8 is my favourite character. Um, at number nine, I have another Star Wars character plush that I would absolutely love, and that is a Porg plush. And if you don't know what the Porgs are, if you 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 might not have seen the new, oh you, yes, you might not have seen the new um, Star Wars, which is Star Wars: Last Jedi. But in the Star Wars: Last Jedi, um, Jedi, Jedi, um, they have these really cute little animals that have like wings <laughs> and they've got little cute chubby bodies and they just they just like the, the big black eyes and they just look so adorable I would love to have a plush of one of them <laughs> so yes I cannot wait to get my hands on one of them at number 10 I have the Grey's Anatomy series 12 and 13 for some odd peculiar reason I still don't have these in my collection I don't know what's wrong with me I think I've just I've been in a Grey's Anatomy slump I do admit that I do admit that I have been a, in a bit of a slump because I just I've just been reading so much I haven't caught up on any of my tv and I'm behind on my Grey's Anatomy which annoys me to the point of dementia and <laughs> I really wanted to do like a massive re um, um, rewatch of all the series just so I am my brain is completely in the Grey's Anatomy mode but I haven't yet so I need to get on that straight away um, so that is everything I want on that's on my Father Christmas well in my Father Christmas letter I hope you enjoyed this video guys give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what's on your Father letter to father christmas have a fantastic day and if you are new to my channel you can click the subscribe button below to see more of me talk about books films tv shows and comics 